Hello everybody and welcome back to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today we are going to be doing an account review on my own account. I've been playing this game for the past two to three weeks and I've been absolutely loving it. I've got really far in the game and I kind of want to give you guys an overview of my account to kind of compare and maybe see where you guys are at in correlation with my own account. So without further ado, let's get in to the video. First things first, let's take a look at my shop. So I just want to show you guys how much money I've spent on the game just to kind of get the question out of the way. I've bought the most expensive pack. I bought $40 one and then I bought the $1 one and the express pass along with the nameless honor of as well which i have completely finished and maxed out so in total i've probably spent around 200 to 250 dollars on the game so far so i would consider myself maybe a, a mini whale if you would call it but this account still may be a tiny bit better than your account just because i've spent a tiny bit of money on the game now, without further ado, let's take a look at the characters I actually have. So there's a system in Onkai Star Rail where you can actually just look at everything you completed. So currently I have almost everything completed from seeing all the enemies in the game, seeing all the factions. I've got most relics. I'm still missing a couple. However, this question mark set, which I actually don't know what this is. I'm missing one set and I have no idea what it is. And then you'll see here that I have 16 out of 21 characters and 38 out of 68 light cones. So I have a lot of the light cones. I'm still missing a couple of the four stars that you can get on the standard banner. And obviously I can't get all the battle pass ones right away. We're going to have to wait till I get every single battle pass, which is going to be at least a couple months, if not years, maybe who knows. And then obviously I, I don't recommend ever going for five star light cones. I try to avoid them as much as possible unless they're the free ones that you get from the simulated universe like the texture of memories or the fall of ion which i still haven't got yet but i do plan on getting other than that i do have most of the cards in the game as for my characters i have four five stars i would say the only one i really wailed for was sele himiko was lucky gapard i got on the very first banner in the game and then yan Cheng i just got from the standard banner going all the way to pity with my free to play wishes and then I have most four stars in the game. I did get very, very lucky on the standard banner. I was able to secure myself a Xu Sheng, a Teng Yun, a Cheng Chui, an Arlon, and even get a couple constellations along the way. And then I am missing one four star, however, in Sampo. He is the only one I'm missing, and I really want him because I've heard he's absolutely like crazy in the simulated universe so i was really hoping i could get him i have not as of yet really praying he can come home eventually other than that i am missing four five stars i'm missing a lot of the good ones unfortunately i got like some of the worst five stars in young Cheng and himiko it's not that they're bad they're just worse than the other options welt is overpowered bronya is overpowered clara is overpowered and bailu is the best healer I would have loved any of these four. Unfortunately, uh, I was not able to get them, so it is what it is. But we move on anyways. I'm happy with the four stars I have, and I make it work. Now, let's take a look at some of these characters. So, I've kind of picked out a total of eight that I want to build for challenges like the Forgotten Hall, because that does require eight characters. And then I've kind of left every other character at level 20, uh, and I do not plan to build them unless uh, I really need them for something. But here are the eight that I am building currently. It's Shushang, Serval, Himiko, Gapard, main character, Tingyun, Sele, and Natasha. I also have Asta at level 50 because of World 6 is quite literally impossible without Asta. I have not found a way to do it without her. So she's basically required to level up if I ever want to beat World 6 of the simulated universe. Now let's check out some of these builds. So all the characters that are level 20, uh, they're not going to have relics, traces, or anything. I guess I will show you guys my Eidolon level for everybody. Arlon's at zero. Hook is at five because I wished a lot on the Sele banner. Dong Heng is at zero. Hurt is at level four because you get some copies of her from the simulated universe. Ching Chui is at two. I don't know why I have her at two. I think you get her for free. And then I got another copy on the standard banner. March 7th is at one. Yang Ching is at zero. Pella is at four because I got a lot of copies from her on the Sele banner. Austin's at two. Shu Sang is at one. Serval is at one. Himika zero. Gapar zero. The main character is at level four. Ting Yun zero. Sele zero. And Natasha is the only character I have at E6. Now let's get into some of these builds. So I'll show you guys what I am working 
working with. So my Natasha is currently on the Abundance Light Cone. Uh, it's level 60. I would like to switch it to uh, Quid Pro Quo, but unfortunately, I just don't have the materials to level that one right now. So I'm kind of stuck using this. As for Traces, uh, she's one of my characters who I have not prioritized Traces on. You'll notice that when you hit level 40, a lot of these Traces become really hard to upgrade and you need a lot of materials. So, so far, I have really not maxed out the Trace for most of my characters, if not any of them, because I've had such a hard time gathering the materials. As for my relics, I'm going to be running the four-piece Passerby of Wandering Cloud, which gives me some outgoing healing and an extra skill point at the start of battle. And then I also pair it with the Fleet of Ageless to give me some more HP. Here are some of the pieces that I am running. As you can see, I, I just don't have the materials to upgrade every piece. It's kind of a work in progress. But that is my Natasha. Next up, Sele. Sele has is probably my best built character, probably just because she's the only limited character that you can get. So everybody's hyped for her. Fair enough. I mean, she is a really cool character. She's running the Hunt Light Cone that you get from the simulated universe. As for her traces, she is actually maxed out. She is one character that I have maxed out in the traces department as of Equilibrium level 3. As for relics, she is also the only character that I have on full 5-star relics. Here are some of the pieces that I'm working with. Keep in mind, they're not going to be great. We are in the early game. None of these pieces are really going to stand out. Like this glove is actually decent enough because that has some break effect attack and also a tiny bit of speed but i rolled hp twice is what it is this is a crit rate piece that i got again it's not that good but it had some crit rate some break effect and some attack so i took it boots i still haven't got anything other than hp percent i am working on it uh i did get lucky and get a quantum damage bonus sphere so that was really nice unfortunately it wasn't really a set that i wanted and it rolled into defense percent but it's the only five star I have, so we take it. And then I also got a really nice break effect rope to pair with it as well. And that is the state of my Sele for right now. She does have positive crit rate, so that's nice. I do have 54%, but it doesn't really matter when you only have 71% crit damage. She does have a lot of attack though, and her break effect is pretty high at 93%, so she's in a good spot for the early game. Ting Yoon is my next character, little fox girl. Everybody kind of likes Ting Yoon. Her light cone is going to be the one that you get from the battle pass is I believe where I got this. Another character who actually has her traces maxed out. I didn't realize I actually had maxed out two characters traces. I'll take it. Okay, so Ting Yoon also has maxed out traces. Relic, she's currently running the four piece musketeer of wild wheat. I believe I just have her on full attack percent for some scaling with her E ability and also a little bit of lightning damage there paired her with an attack percent rope as well as you can see i'm just trying to stack as much attack as possible on her so i can get the most benefit out of her skill which scales on her attack so like i can do as much damage with my sele or whoever i'm using with her as possible main character mc who is actually one of my favorite characters i actually really like him and honestly i'm kind of surprised because the main character in genshin is so bad and yet this one is so good it kind of confuses me but as you can see here on the side i got a lot of defense for him i got 2000 defense on my main character pretty good stuff light cone i am running the march 7th one which gives me an extra 16 percent defense and more damage res as well as for traces uh, i haven't maxed it out yet i am working on getting the ultimate leveled up and then i also need this passive ability but i can't do my weeklies again this week so i'm still waiting on it relics i'm working with the two-piece guard of wuthering snow and the two-piece knight of purity palace which gives me more defense and the reduce of the damage i take again i just stacked a ton of defense on him you you see defense piece defense piece defense and more defense it's all defense defense is all i care about getting as much of that as possible so i can get the absolute most out of my shields with the main character next up gapard now gapard i've actually prioritized second to main character which is really weird because main character i actually okay i don't know if he's better than gapard on like a tier list or like just by himself but i just like him more his play style is more fun he can taunt enemies which i really like gapard does have a better shield and it will last longer but main character it's just funner to play honestly and gapard also 
wasn't my favorite character in the story. So that's why I put him second to main character. But he's still really good. He still has a level 60 light cone that it also increases defense and has a chance to burn enemies, which is really nice. His uh, traces are very far behind every other character on my team. I'm working on it. I will get to it eventually. Relics, uh, yeah, they aren't great right now. My relics on him, I don't think I have anything really that's noticeable. I have some defense, more defense, ice damage boost, and a little more defense. That's really all I got for Gapard. I've kind of been ignoring him. I should really put more work into him, however. Next up, Himiko. Level 60 as well. She's going to be running uh, the Birth of the Self, which increases her follow-up damage with her little propeller suitcase thingy, which I don't know what to call. Basically, it just increases that by 36%, and if the enemy is lower than 50%, it increases it by another 36%, making it do a ton more damage. Traces, again, I'm working on our traces. They're not maxed out. Level 5, 5, 6, 3. Uh, and then I also don't have this effect res boost, which honestly isn't that useful, but I have to get it eventually because it's going to annoy me if I don't. Uh, uh, she's going to be running the four piece of uh, firesmith which gives her more fire damage boost and increases her skill damage and her ultimate damage too again i haven't really had the materials to level up a lot of these pieces some of them are defense percent with like the most trash subs you've ever seen but i just don't have other pieces or the trailblaze power to get more of them so i'm kind of, it's kind of something that i'm working through in terms of where I use my Trailblaze power, I've been mainly using it to level up traces and light cones instead of going for relics. So that's why a lot of these relics are really poor. I just feel like I'd rather have a guaranteed upgrade than have a chance of getting a good piece that will probably be replaced in the future anyways. Our last two characters, one of them is Serval. She has 1800 attack and actually a pretty good crit rate, crit damage ratio for the early aim. 50 to 83 isn't terrible. I would like to get a little bit better, but it's something that I'm working on. I have a level 60 light cone on her, which is her six signature one which regenerates 20 energy upon entering battle and increases her ultimate damage by 32 percent a very nice one there her traces are actually maxed out she's somebody who i put more work into to be honest i really just go based on who i like more I liked Serval a lot more in the story than Himiko, so I prioritized her character. It's a single player experience, there's really no way that you have to play the game, so I prioritized Serval, and that's all there is to it. Relics, I actually did get some 5 star relics for her, because I really liked her character. Uh, I did get this absolutely nasty one, which had crit rate, crit damage, and attack, and guess what it rolled into? HP. Classic. I did, however, get another crit rate, crit damage one, which did give me a tiny bit of crit rate and a tiny bit of crit damage. But again, more HP. Classic Honkai Star Rail. I did get a crit rate, crit damage mask along with some attack percent boots which was very nice again more crit rate break effect and attack a lightning damage boost spear and an attack percent rope which again some of these are gonna be four stars because i'm just not far enough in the game however my serval is probably one of my better built characters and one of the only ones with five star artifacts that you will see and our last character that i actually have built is shusheng she is running her signature light cone, level 60, sword play. I really like this one. Stacks up a lot of damage really fast. Uh, I've not really done much with her traces, however. They're still really low level. It's something that I'm working on. Again, traces are probably my next project since I just level 60 all of my light cones. Now I'm moving to traces and trying to level all them up. Her relics are going to be the four piece champion set to give her more physical damage or actually i guess i just have a two piece i should have a four piece and i guess i don't so i don't know a four piece champion set i only have the three piece I'm, I'm working on it though we're gonna get that done um so i have crit rate crit damage attack four star which this one is really nasty like this is a really good piece if it was a five star but because it's a four star it's a little more useless i also got a really nice chest piece on her i got some break effects some attack on there got some nice boots uh, that have hp and everything. okay those aren't so nice uh physical damage boost sphere and then also a break effect rope as well a lot of good stuff on Shushang. She's one of my favorite damage dealers and somebody who I'm very happy that I built. If you have a Shushang, you should definitely, definitely build her. And those are all of my characters. Now let's move on to, to some other things. So my Trailblaze level is level 44. I'll show you guys where I'm at with Stellar Jades right now. So currently I have 1600. Those are all free to play gems. Uh, other than the supply pass, the supply pass has been giving me a little more, but most of those are free to play. The supply pass have been giving me 90 a day, so you, probably that adds about maybe a thousand or so onto there. But 
I've spent most of my whale wishes already on the Sele banner. So most of my whale wishes are already gone. So this is about as much as you can get as a free to play. You could probably actually get a little more than that. Uh, I've seen some people get up to upwards of like 20,000. Let me know how much stellar jades you guys have in the comments and who you're saving for. I would be interested to know. I had to go to soft pity twice on the Sele banner to try to get uh, her because I lost the 50-50 to Himiko and then I had to roll again to get Sele. Wasn't the best experience ever, but I had to live with it. And then on the Sele warp banner, so far I am 112 in to get my free 5 star. Hooray. Only another year and a half to go until I get the free 5 star. I hate this thing so much. I think it's the most pointless thing ever. But I guess it would be it will be nice in a year from now when somebody will eventually get the 5 star. As for my wishes on this banner, again, I think I've gone over this a little bit. I have got very lucky. I was able to get a couple 5 stars. Uh, actually, only one 5 star being Young Cheng. And that's, and that's the only one I got so far. And I had to go to like 7. 70 pity other than that i'm like 30 into pity now i'm really hoping that i can bring home uh, either bronya or bailu or kind of the two i want next probably would be the most helpful to my account right now but honestly i'll take any new character that i can get as for my inventory, you'll see here that I've, I've been like kind of passively grinding mats. I actually don't have a lot because I've been kind of spreading my materials a little thin on different characters so that I can have a full party of eight to beat the Forgotten Hall. So you'll notice that I don't have a ton of things. Like I don't have a lot of Traveler's Guide. I don't have a lot of Refined Aether. Could definitely use a lot more. I don't have much Artifact DXP. I've been trying to pre-grind for, for when I hit level 50, but it's kind of difficult when you need so many mats to level up these traces. And even then, I still, I like, I just don't have enough. I need so, so much. And then there's these Tracks of Destiny, which are really hard to come by. They're kind of like the crowns of Genshin Impact in this game. You're going to need a lot of these to like fully max out characters. And then I have been doing my daily missions to get things like clock parts and silver made badges. These are really easy to grind. You just send your characters out on daily missions. They bring them all back for you. Easy peasy. As for my light cones, I have a lot of them level 60. Some of them I don't even use anymore. I haven't really leveled up many three stars and I don't plan to. I try to hold on to as many good ones as I can from the four stars and try to avoid those three stars as much as possible. Artifacts, again, I have like no artifact EXP and basically nothing here. Most of my five stars I've been salvaging to try to get better artifacts in like a desperate attempt to get a good piece, but it really hasn't been working for me. So my artifact inventory is really bleak. I do have six of the Praise of High Morals because I am a good upstanding citizen in the world of Honkai Star Rail and everybody loves me, of course. And then as for my valuables, I have 22 limited Star Rail passes, which is big. I actually have 500 extra shield, which I shouldn't have because I bought out the entire shield shop. So I don't understand why that is. Uh, I have one of the Herd of Bond currency. I have a lot of Undying Starlight. I'm trying to save up to get that five star light coin. And then as you can see in the top corner here, uh, I don't have a lot of currency at the moment. I only have 500,000 because I've been spending so much and I haven't grinded money. So that's going to be a little bleak for me at the moment. Now let's take a look at my Forgotten Hall progress. So currently I've completed everything for the week. I have all of the rewards. I've maxed them all out. Uh, I have beat World 6. This one was really difficult. It took me quite a long time to beat this. The only way I was able to is by getting really lucky on my way there, getting the exact blessings that I've needed. Personally, I went for the hunt path. This has always been my favorite one. I just think it's the funnest, does the most damage, and my characters were pretty weak when I tried it, so I kind of needed to do more damage. Another good one is Abundance Stone. I have tried it, but it hasn't really brought me much success, so I've kind of avoided it since then. Other than that, I really have not used like any of the other paths. I've really only been using Hunt for like all of the content in this game. Hunt is just the best one in my opinion. If you guys don't know, once you beat World 6 and hit Equilibrium Level 3, you actually unlock the second versions of World 3 and 4. And I have actually cleared these two. I cleared World 3 on difficulty 2. And then I was also able to clear World 4 on difficulty 2 as well. These ones I actually found to be pretty easy. My characters were really strong at the time. And I just happened to get a lot of the right cards that I needed to advance forward. And I breathed them, I think, both on my first try. So yeah, I, I, I've been really enjoying these challenges so far. World 6, I definitely say is the most difficult. World 4 and 3, again, have just been pretty easy for me so far. But we'll see how it goes from here. And lastly, I just want to show you guys quickly my Forgotten Hall progress. So I've got 44 out of 45 stars in the main area of the Forgotten Hall. 
The only star that I'm missing is on stage 14. I'm missing a star. This one is actually very difficult. I have not found a way to beat this in lower than 18 cycles. I think the max I could do is like 14 or 15. It was really tough to, for me to even get there, but I just don't have the right teams to beat this because neither of them have a quantum weakness. Sele is kind of useless. She still helps, but she's not as useful. And I really just don't have the elements to beat this. As for Memory of Chaos, which is the Spiral Abyss of this game, have not tried this yet. This looks really difficult from what I've heard. It's very, very hard to clear. So I've not given it an attempt yet. And plus, I don't have a single built wind character. So I don't even know how I would go about killing this thing. It has other weaknesses, but the most frequent one you're going to use is wind. And yeah, still no wind character built. The only one I have is Dunhang. But I kind of just don't want to build them because I already have two other hunt characters built. I'm kind of waiting until I get Sampo or Bronya maybe to build them instead. And yeah, that is about everything I've done so far. That is my account currently. I've beat most of the content in the game. I'm kind of out of everything right now. This game has kind of hit a, a stall point for me right now I've, until the next update comes out. But let me know where you guys are in the comments below. Personally, I'm still enjoying the game. Even if I'm out of content, I'm still always having fun because I still enjoy grinding and trying to make my characters a little better. But I know it kind of differentiates from person to person. So let me know how you guys are doing on your Honkai Star Rail account in the comments below. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.